this is a, this is a privilege, really. Uh, I don't know many of you folks, but way back in my life, this was grade seven and eight, I was in a religion class with George Bell Sr. Mm -hmm. and he was, <laughs> he was an arrow that pointed me to the Lord. Amen. And uh, I looked at his life, many years had passed, but I, I know that he, he, he loved the Lord and he served God. He would preach the gospel downtown in St. Catharines. And I, what an example he was, right, for my whole life. And you know, and I listened to all of you, you folks and as you testified about George Jr. Now I delivered milk to Camisos when George was dairy manager and he received the milk. And we would talk about the Lord on the dock there. And uh, we had such good times. And uh, anyway, about maybe three weeks ago, I had to go to the emergency and George was there. And George had a Bible. He was, he was reading the Acts. And anyway, so before he left, we had a word of prayer, and, and I just, I'm so, that was my last memory of George, Jr. But what I have seen through all of the things that have been shared is the faithfulness of God. Amen. Amen. God is faithful. Yes, yes, yes. You know, there was a song years ago. It was originally a poem, I think, in the early 1900s. It's called The Touch of the Master's Hand. Mm. Many of you know it. It was battered and scarred. And the auctioneer hardly thought it was worth his while to waste much time on this old violin. But he held it up with a smile. He said, it sure ain't much, but it's all we got left. I guess we ought to sell it too. And you know, the story goes on in the song that there was a man seated in the back gray-haired man, an old man, he came forward and he picked up that violin, he dusted it off and he tightened up the strings. And he played a melody, the song says, pure and sweet, sweet as the angels sing. And then another part of the song says, now many of us are like that old violin, we're battered, we're scarred, we're broken, but there's one touch from a master's hand. Yes, yes. Transforms us. God made us. And just through the course of a series of events in some of our lives, maybe all of us, we go through things and we're broken. And then God comes. <laughs> I, I, I saw that. I saw it so clear in George at Junior. And as I, I just listened. And so I, I want to give thanks to the Lord. Mm -hmm. There's nobody beyond God's reach. Amen. None of us in this whole room. Amen. God's here. He's here right now. Mm -hmm. He loves every one of us with an everlasting love. And somebody said, if you take one step toward God, He takes ten steps toward you. Thank Him. And uh, you know, so the love of God, we can't fathom it. We don't understand it. Why does he love us? And you know that battle in Romans 7, you know, if you go one more chapter, it says this. It says there's no condemnation to those that are in Christ. In Christ. So there's two positions, I guess, in this life. We can be in Christ, or we can be not in Christ. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I love this because it's so simple. A little girl can get this. Whoever has Jesus has eternal life. And whoever doesn't have Jesus doesn't have eternal life. <laughs> and for me, it was 1979, and I, I just, I was hopeless. But God came. But God. God came. And uh, so I want to just encourage all of our hearts. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. I know what George is. Lord, that's the hope that we have. And somebody else said, you know, in our time today, that we're all going to cross that line. Every one of us. It's it's an appointment that we all have. God gives us life and breath, and He gives us the time that we have down here to choose Him, to 
say, Lord, I need you. Please come. Forgive me. And he does that. And uh, I just want to, maybe I could just say a prayer. Father, I just thank you for each one here. Thank you for George Sr., George Jr. Lord, in, in, in each of their lives, we see the faithfulness of God. How good you are. Oh, Lord. And we just thank you for the wonderful promise. Our dear brother, George Jr., he's rejoicing in your presence. Oh, Lord. We give you praise. And we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.